It's unconscionable for closed door debate to be going on, to be adding spending to an existing deficit at a time when tax revenues are coming in at record levels. At a time when tax revenues are coming in at record levels, the House decided to take $412 million out of the state's rainy day fund. Now, although it's raining here today, it's not raining at the state house. It's raining taxpayer dollars. We need the rainy day fund for years when revenues come in under expectations, for when we really have a fiscal crisis in the Commonwealth, which happens from time to time. We're not in one right now. When we are in one, we're not gonna have the money to pay for it. So I'm running uh, to stand up as an independent voice for the 8th Mid Middlesex District against wasteful spending, against higher taxes, against closed door government, and to fight for open governance out in the light of day where the people can see it, which is how things are supposed to be done. I, I, again, I'm, I'm very, very happy to be joined here by Paula Skoko, who is uh, going to say a couple words, but thank you very, very much for coming. Uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate your presence and your support. Um, and we've got some, some friends from out of town just showed up, and it's, it's wonderful to see them. Uh, thank you very much, folks. Paul? Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Dan. I, I love your baby. She's beautiful. And uh, I see thank Melissa you. smiling. We'll see how she's smiling at the end of the summer. <laughs> I, uh, I just wanted to uh, say here this morning, I am extremely pleased to be here today to formally endorse uh, Dan Haley for the next state representative to the 8th Middlesex District. Uh, Dan is an extremely bright, capable, and energetic uh, young man, and I know he will work tirelessly with integrity and independence, promoting the interests all of all of us on Beacon Hill. Uh, you know, I've known Dan for several years, and I'm really pleased not only to respect his abilities, but to consider him a good friend. Uh, I know that he is a person of ideas, and he has a tremendous wealth of experience, both in, in uh, the political realm, the governmental realm, and also in his professional life. And he's going to be uh, a tremendous asset to this district. Uh, right now at the legislature, uh, the leadership and members of the legislature already know Dan, and he's extremely well respected, and has already shown that he can work uh, well with people uh, of all political uh, persuasions, um, it, it, using the, the strength of his ideas and his personality to really get things done for the district. Uh, again, I'm, I think we're very, very fortunate that, that Dan has uh, decided to run for state representative, and I'm, again, extremely pleased to be able here today to offer my full support to Dan, and uh, I wish you the best of luck, and I know I, for one, would be very pleased to have you as my representative. Thank you very much. I appreciate that tremendously, and again, Thank you for coming. This was, uh, <laughs> every once in a while I see a face from high school pop up. <laughs> Very exciting, Steve. Thanks for coming. Thank you, all of you. Um, I look forward to this campaign. I look forward to uh, continuing to have and to earn and keep your support. I include you, Mom. <laughs> thanks for coming, folks. And, and, and thanks for our friends from Hopkinton who came over. This is, um, this is, this is, a, this is a big district, and it's, uh, it's a good district, a lot of supportive people. Thank you very much.